G'day Flores, this is Neon. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So this is the the new HUA Simulations Beechcraft Bonanza. When I was learning to fly, I was being tutored to do all the theory by, by Guy, and he owned one of these. And it was the only Bonanza on the apron. And I, I used to drool over this plane, I used to just love it to bits. But he had the T-tail, this is the V-tail. Now, this is not going to be showing you about this plane because heaps of people have already done videos about this. This is going to sh this video is about showing you how to fix the blurries problem that this plane has got. So we're going to jump in and I will show you what I mean. So this is exactly what it should look like. Look at it, it's beautiful. Just this is what A2A always, is always known for: crisp, beautiful textures. But when you get this, it's going to look like this. I want to go to options and um, display and we're going to change one thing doesn't really matter what you change it's just anything you change in here is going to cause the blurries and we'll just do that so now you look it's horrible isn't it you can't read anything it's all the instruments are really blurry and fuzzy all the textures look really fuzzy and horrible the skin itself looks fuzzy and horrible and it's a real problem however it's got a really easy fix and so I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it so what you've got to do in order to fix this problem is you've got to go to your C drive here you've got to go to users you've got to go to username whatever your username is app data roaming microsoft uh, fsx you've got to get your fsx cfg which is here and open that up and what you're looking for is this line here on yours it will say it was like a thousand and twenty-four. So that's what you're looking for. You want to find that, and you want to change this now. Before you do this, you've got to make sure that in your flight simulator options or prepare three D options, in your options you set everything the way that you want it inside your options, like graphics, display, auto gen, scenery, textures. Get it all set up, because once you make a change in there that will undo this so what you do is you get rid of the thousand twenty four and the reason is this flight simulator is 10 years old and it can only handle textures of thousand twenty four however you can force it to do 4k by putting 4096 in here and clicking save now you can back this up if you want just make a copy in here just put a copy like I've done here just drag it and drop it and so that's basically done now so what you need to do is make sure, you, again, you don't change any options. So let's go into Flight Simulator. Okay, so now you can see that the textures look beautiful. They're beautiful textures. You can read everything very clearly. It's all nice and sharp and clear. There's no blurries anywhere. And it all looks lovely. There's nice details on the seats, just like it is typically with A2A and it's all nice and clear so that's how you fix that problem just remember don't change the settings once you fix this don't change the settings if you do change the settings and you'll get the blurries back you've got to go back to the fsx cfg and make that change again so there you go you have a fantastic day and i will see you on the flip side bye